I'm getting ready for a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. It's spring, so we're starting to get the gardens ready, and my tomatoes are legendary here in my own neighborhood. <laughs> my daughter is about to start kindergarten next year, and so we're moving, yeah. just so she can belong to a better school. Mi hermana y yo estamos empezando un primer negocio. Vaya. <laughs> After five years of raising my children, I am now going back to work. Every day we're trying to get more and more ready and more prepared. The baby boy, coming your way. <laughs> right now I'm applying for jobs. It's a look into what the real world will look like after college. I'm getting married this summer to someone I really care about. I'm gonna be in a play and I'm gonna be in a fish costume. From little tiny fishes. I'm getting ready to retire soon. <laughs> Retirement means reinventing yourself in many ways. Well, we've been doing a lot of home renovations. But most importantly, we really just want to teach our dog to quit eating the trash. <laughs> and so we have high hopes for 2015 that that's going to happen. <laughs> I've started a new career recently. This is a fifth generation company, which means a, a, a lot to me. This country was founded on hard work, and it really feels good to be a part of that. I'm getting ready to do something, too. I'm running for president. Americans have fought their way back from tough economic times, but the deck is still stacked in favor of those at the top. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. So you can do more than just get by. You can get ahead and stay ahead, because when families are strong, America is strong. <laughs> so I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, because it's your time and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Welcome to the Charles Norman Show. It's been a while. Alright. I too am doing something new. I'm running for president. No. No, no, no. That's not me. That's actually Hillary Clinton. She's actually running for president. And I'm going to warn everybody who normally watches the show that today's show is all about Hillary Clinton. Yes, Hillary Clinton is running for president. Today we're just going to dissect and analyze this video that she put out yesterday. I'm going to compare that to her 2007 introduction video. I'm going to talk about what she needs to do differently this time than she did last time in 08. And I'll give my own thoughts and connection to Hillary Clinton as this show goes on. And it's time to start the show. Here we go. Alright. In this video, as you guys saw, I started off the show with the video. Hillary Clinton looked rejuvenated. She just looked like a new person in the video. But we didn't see her until about, I don't know, a minute and a half. I think the video was about two minutes or something, some change. She, we didn't see her until about a minute and a half in the video. And that's what she did. I think she's doing that right this time, and she didn't do that right last time. The main focus wasn't Hillary Clinton in this video. It's all about America, not just Hillary. In 2007, it was all about Hillary when she gave her introduction video, which I don't have that for you. I didn't start putting that in there. She just sat on the couch in her house and she talked about all the things that she done, all the things that, not even what she was going to do, just all her pre previous accomplishments and why people should vote for her. It was more about Hillary than it was about America. And that's not what it should be about. In 2007, her slogan was, or 2008, I should say, her slogan was, Ready for Hillary. And this year, this time, she's changed it up. And she made a good change. It's Hillary for America. Now, I don't want people to think that I'm gullible or anything. I know that just because she changed her slogan doesn't necessarily mean that she changed her ways. But changing her slogan and going into this campaign in a different way, with a different approach, is smarter than what she did before. Um, the video was really... It really focused on everyday Americans more than it focused on Hillary Clinton herself. 
I mean, all types of Americans were represented in this video. The working class Americans, straight, gay, old, young, um, English speaking, non-English speaking. They, everybody was in this video. And I think her goal, well, what her goal for running is she wants to work for everybody. And if that's the case, then she's a good candidate. But of course, in politics, politicians never always tell the truth. And I'm not, by no means is this video or any other video that comes after this me trying to get you to change your mind about Hillary Clinton if you don't agree with that. If you don't agree with Hillary Clinton and you don't like it, I'm just warning you, this is probably the first about a couple, many videos of me supporting her. You Just don't watch the show. Just don't. Um, I don't have any, it's not my job to change your ideas for voting for her. That's her job by her actions. It's her job, not mine. I like that she's focusing on everyday, everyday people instead of just focusing on Hillary and things that Hillary does. And the main thing, like I said, is she's focused more on the people in America. As a president, that's what you have to do. You cannot be focused on yourself. It shouldn't be about your personal accomplishments and what you did and what you didn't do. That's what the people... I was watching five, MSNBC this morning. They were talking about they want to know Hillary's accomplishments. shouldn't be about Hillary's accomplishments at this point because we know what Hillary has done both good and bad. We know. She's been around the block more than a few times. So it's not like she's new or she's new to us. It's like this is a brand new person. We know what Hillary Clinton can do. We know what she has done. Well, we don't know what she can do. We know what she has done. So let, let her move forward. Forget all her experience, her over 20 years of experience. Let's move on. See what she got now. It's a new year. It's a new time. She could change up. More than she did last time, which I think she is changing. Um, I think the 2007 video, and you guys can check it out if you want to. I may be like, link it to the website. It just seems so fake and fun, like phony. She was just sitting there. It's like she really didn't want to do the video. She was like, I should just be president already. Then he just hand it to me. And I, that's what I think she was doing back in 07. This time she let... Instead of her just telling her story, she let everyday Americans tell their story and talk about their dreams and what they're doing and what their future, what they hope their future consists of. And then she said what her she hopes her future consists of, and that's becoming the first, well, not even becoming the first female president because that's not what she said. She wants to become the first, ugh, she wants to become the president of the United States. That's all she said. She's running for president. And last time it was ready for Hillary. Hillary for president, and this time she's like, everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion, so she wants to work for the Americans. And something else that she focused on that was really smart was making families strong, because she said when families are strong, America is strong, and that's true. Um, this video, I just thought, was more genuine, and I like that family is a big focus for her, because it all starts with the families. I know how it does. And that's going down on a roller level, especially to, like, schools. Kid, younger kids in schools, when they come from good families, and not in all cases, or when their family support system is strong, they tend to do better in school. And I think that's a smart thing. That was a smart thing for Hillary to do. Um, I'm going to tell you what she needs to do. First of all, she cannot fall into poll traps like she did in 2007. In 2007, 08, she was a heavy favorite, and that didn't help her out at all. It didn't help Hillary Clinton out at all, because I feel like she relied heavily on the polls and relied heavily on just people saying, oh, she's shooing, she's this, and then she got defeated. Barack Obama beat her that time. And, I mean, I think if she would have gave more of herself in that campaign, I mean, we probably, I'd probably be doing this introductory video for Barack Obama, and he'd be running for president now, and she would have won. But... Most importantly, out of everything that she needs to do, I think she needs to be completely honest with America. She needs to tell the truth about her emails. She also needs to tell the truth about Benghazi, face those scandals head on. Before those other candidates get to draw her about it, she needs to address it. Let people know that they can trust her because right now the polls aren't looking good for her trustworthy-wise. People don't trust her. And they got good reason not to trust her with her doing this email stuff and then Benghazi I mean what what is this 
And, you know, I was watching Fox News yesterday, and Rand Paul made a, even though he didn't answer the question, he made a good point about Benghazi. I mean, would you want somebody in the White House who's going to miss that 3 a.m. call when something like Benghazi happens or overlook that 3 a.m. 3 a.m. call when something like Benghazi happens? No, you wouldn't. So she got to let us know what happened. What exactly happened? What did she do? Where did she fail? And how will she try not to fail at doing that again? Um, I think she needs to avoid dirty politics in 2008. She took many dirty shots at Barack Obama. And that actually backfired on her. And I just don't think she should do that to her. Just run a clean race. Focus more on what she's going to do instead of downplaying or bashing the other candidates. Because that's not going to help her. Um... She can't rely on her experience to get her ele elected. That was another slogan of hers in 2008, ready for experience. Your experience don't have nothing to do. Because really, when you run, she didn't have the experience of, well, maybe she did have a little bit of experience on knowing how to be a president of the United States because of her husband. But she really didn't do it. I mean, she wasn't elected president before. I mean, yeah, she was a senator and a lawyer and she fought for rights for other people, but the experience thing, lead that all the way. And now she has even more experience being Secretary of State. So I think she just leave the experience part out of the way. Focus on what she can do new. Because it's obvious her experience won't help her because it didn't help her in 2008. We need something new, Hillary. Let's see, let's see what you can do. Don't just be, oh, I did this back in this day. I fought for this back in this day. No, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do for us now? That's what we want to know. Um, I think she, like I just said, she has to truly make this a fresh start and a new beginning. More importantly than that, I think she needs to connect with the American people. Back in 2008 when she was on the campaign trail, she didn't really connect with the people or the reporters. It was more about Hillary than anybody else. She was just standoffish. And we need to see what, who is Hillary. Who is the real Hillary Clinton? Can you be that genuine person all the time? When the people, you need to share moments with the American people. Share some personal moments. Don't just worry about standing on the stage, giving a speech. And honestly, I know they probably have to, but I wouldn't even like, speak from the heart instead of speaking from what somebody else wants you to say. That's what we really want to hear, but we probably won't get that. And I think Hillary just had to actively and genuinely engage with the American people. That's going to help her out a lot if she does that. Like I said, we need Hillary to share her some personal moments with the American people. And most of all, we need Hillary Clinton to give her full, complete self to America. This announcement video was genuine, I thought. But she has to keep it up. We need to be personally connected with Hillary Clinton. Now, I'm going to talk about my like why I like Hillary Clinton. Well, probably not why I like Hillary Clinton, but back mm, I was in seventh grade in 2007. I was one of only two kids in the whole seventh and eighth grade in my school who wanted Hillary Clinton to win. I spoke out more for Hillary Clinton than the other person, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I just thought she was the better candidate back then, but she lost because, like I said, she got into the dirty politics, and that just doesn't help anybody. And Barack Obama ran a cleaner race, and she relied heavily on the polls that showed that she was a leader. I mean, I think at one point in 2008, she, or 2007, like a month before, she had a 20-point lead in Iowa and wound up finishing in third place. I like Hillary Clinton. I like her husband, too. I think she would be a good president, but she has to be willing to give herself to America if she wants to be a good president. That's... The most important thing, give yourself to America. Let us see that you're real. We don't want another fake president or somebody who doesn't care. Like, show us that you care. And actually, work. Not like show us by talking. Work Show us that you care. I like that she said in the campaign video that she's getting out there. I remember when she lost to Barack Obama. I said, the first time I vote for president, it will be Hillary Clinton. And that's like... A year away from becoming true, hopefully. I mean, if she does what she's supposed to do, she'll be a good president, I hope. But, and she'll win in order, to, she has to win first in order to be a good president. And I just want her to do what she has to do. Don't be fake. 
don't lie. Because once you lie, you're going to lose support. You all, once you get into the dirty politics, you're going to lose support. Focus on what you can do for America. We need to know. And it's not like what. It's like, yeah, it's like what John F. Kennedy said. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. What can you, this is my question for Hillary Clinton, what can you do for this country? That's what I want to know. What can you do for this country? Answer that question. I'm supporting you right now. Like I said, I'm not trying to change anybody's mind so they could go support Hillary Clinton. If you support her, you support her. If you don't, you don't. That's your personal choice. I'm not trying to change your mind. That's her job. I think she's the best candidate right now. And no, it's not because she's a woman. Because I've had people approach me about, oh, well, maybe you just like Barack Obama because he's black. No. I don't want Barack Obama to win in 2008. I want Hillary Clinton to win. So that couldn't possibly be the case. I think she's the best candidate, especially going up against Rand Paul and Ted Cruz. But that's just me. I'm not going to focus on them right now. We'll get to them later on. But... Everybody, just get ready for Hillary for America because it's coming. But she has to be ready. Not us. I think she has to be ready. Let me correct myself. And that's our show for today. No, I'm not back for good yet, but I will be. I just had to do a show here today. It's been a while. I mean, originally I was supposed to just take a two-week break, but I didn't. It was two weeks turned to two months. And it felt good, but maybe I will be back sooner. Like maybe a show a week. Because I like doing these shows. And I missed talking in front of the camera and seeing. Well, I don't see you guys. But talking in front of the camera to everybody. Alright. See you later, everybody. Have a good day.